how to deal with difficult people. This is a skill that all of us will have to learn. For sure, you have someone in your family, at least one person, in your social circle, at your working place, a neighbor, isn't it? Anyway, all of us, we can remember almost immediately on someone who is that difficult person to deal with, someone that we have to manage, manage also our heart in regards to that person, to not be stained or heavy, how to deal with difficult people. Let's go for some tips, some guidances that may help you. The first tip for you to deal with hard people, difficult people, is for you to remember that you are not easy either. None of us are easy. None of us are that wonderful person who you would like us to be, isn't it? Very well. We are not easy on our own way too. He who lives with someone, you know that. Everybody have their habits, their own ways, their way of being, their personality, isn't it? Their humanity. Some people are quiet and you get upset with quiet people because you want them to speak, that they may open up, you want them to speak up, to say some words. On the other hand, there's some, they speak too much, you want some quiet, some calm, and they don't shut their mouth and they keep on disturbing you. You can't do anything because they speak at all times. There are people that bothers you, others who they don't care about you. If you are alive, if you are dead, if you woke up or not, it doesn't matter to them. Anyway, there are so many things, so many ways for you to be. That for some are virtues, others a mistake. And in truth is that nobody's easy to live with. You see, the Lord Jesus himself with the disciples, he said one day, how long shall I bear with you? Jesus, this was Jesus. He said, how long shall I bear with you? He was not talking to Pharisees, he was talking to the disciples, the 12 disciples. For how long shall I bear with you? Imagine, if Jesus didn't bear the 12 apostles, who is easy in this world? So the first rule is for you to know that you also are not easy. So what does that mean? It means that you need to learn how to give them a discount. You need to learn how to let go, to let it be. That, that is not essential, because if you are stuck on everything that upsets you, you're not going to do something else, because what happens to you when you allow someone to upset you, what happens is that you stop on living your life to live their life. Those people start controlling your life by what they do, by what they say, you are obsessed with that person. So you have to let go of it, to give a discount that you also would like people to give to you. Everybody likes a discount, isn't it? There's nobody who does not like it. Everybody likes it. It's true. So you also can give it. Look, I'm going to pretend I didn't see it, but don't say out loud. You say, I'll pretend I didn't see it. I'm going to turn to the other side, and there are things that it's better to let go of it. This is the first tip. Now, the second tip, you have to remember also that it's a great trap for you to keep a resentment, a grudge, whatever you call it, because some people say it's not a grudge, I don't have grudges. Yes, they don't want to use the word grudge. But what is true is that there are feelings associated with grudges, associated feelings. They have a resentment, a rancor, an anger, a little anger. A thought of vengeance towards that person, a sensation of I don't see the time for them to fall into a mistake. 
to say that I was right. This feeling, this bad, it hurts you. You stay in your heart. You allow your peace to disappear because of this feeling. And remember, feeling is something that only exists inside of you. So it's you who have the control over it. Ah, but the person upsets me. But you have the control over it. You can, as I just said, you can let go of it, look to something else. You can pray. Sometimes you have to pray. You have to go into the room and pray for the person. You have to pray for yourself and say, My God, I'm noticing that my heart is becoming dirty because of that person. I'm noticing that that person is taking my peace out. And I don't want to allow that person to control me. I don't want the feelings that I have towards them to have dominion over me. As you said, pray for those who persecute you, to those who lie, to those who curse you. Pray for your enemies. I don't know if this person is an enemy of mine or not, but one thing I know, I don't want to be their enemy. So I pray for them now. Give me good eyes, give me peace, help me to have dominion over my feelings. Sometimes you have to pray for the person. It's one of the best weapons, one of the best actions that you can take is to pray for the person. So have dominion over your feelings. Control it. Don't lose nights of sleep because of the person. If your heart is troubled, anxious, is agitated because of the person, you have to do something about this feeling. You have to put this feeling out. And it's not by cursing, fighting, murmuring, or to find a ear to listen to your complaints. Look, I can't stand that person. To see him, I can't stand, I cannot bear them. It's not how you're going to take this feeling from your heart. You're just going to pass to someone else. The best thing, as I said, is for you to speak to God. He understands you. He knows what is going on inside of you. So, administer your feelings that you may have peace. Because with peace, you're going to make better decisions. With peace, you're not going to explode. You're not going to do foolish things and after regret what you've done it. So, you have to search for this peace. When the word says that the Christian has to live at peace with all, whatever it depends on them, it's a good advice. It depends on us, because sometimes we cannot, actually. Sometimes not. Never we can control what others would do. But I can control, we can control the reaction. This we can control it. If your reactions are impulsive, you do something when you least realize you already said it, so you need to have a strategy. If you catch yourself exploding, so you have to interrupt before it explodes and saying, excuse me, give me a minute. Yes, ask for excuse from the fight. It's like in the boxing ring. Isn't the bell that plays like that? And the fighters go for each corner. Even in boxing, in the sports, there's a pause. So you ask for the person, can you give me a pause? Can you give me a minute? You go to the toilet, you pray, you go to the room. You bring down your level of stress when you're more capable and continue that talk or you don't do it. You say, look, I cannot go on with this talk. I don't want to say anything that is going to hurt you. Give me a minute, a day, and we're going to solve it later. It's important for you to control your emotional side. Now, the last tip is to understand the following. Did you know that sometimes God uses hard, difficult people to teach us some lessons that we don't learn in the easy way? Did you know it? Sometimes God puts a person who is a thorn in our flesh, a stone on our shoe, a person who really is, you know, inconvenient. Because he wants to call our attention about something in our regard. God can use that person to change us. So you also can ask, my God, what do you want to teach me through this person? I know that it seems that the person came to take the worst out of me. But how can I enjoy it? What can I learn? What do you want to tell me in regards to this? Because these people are those who really reveal 
who we are. We reveal who we really are, not with those who treat us well, but those who treat us badly, those who are hard on us. It's revealed what is in us. So sometimes God used these people to reveal what is inside of us, what is bad, and what we also need to change. So keep attentive to that. Is that that God wants to teach something to you in the hard way, through this hard, difficult person, because in the easy way, you didn't understand, you did not learn. Think about it. Three tips on how to deal with difficult people that can make your life much, much easier. Did you like this? Would you like to hear it again? Listen to it as many times as you need until this content becomes part of you. Don't forget to leave your like, comment and share. See you next time.